Hello everyone. This is my teaser video for Sunday, February 13th. Um, this is uh, the sermon that's kind of for Valentine's Day, which is on Monday. Um, normally when somebody does a, a Valentine's sermon or Valentine's Day sermon, they kind of focus on, on love and they focus on, um, you know, 1 Corinthians chapter 13, the love chapter. I've preached from the love chapter <clears throat> quite a few times for Valentine's Day, so I didn't want to do that um, for this year. But <clears throat> when you think of Valentine's Day, what are some of the things that you think of for Valentine's Day? Do you think of couples going out for romantic dinners, maybe heart-shaped boxes of candy, um, maybe uh, uh, flowers, uh, some of those flowers? Usually when I think of Valentine's Day, <clears throat> the flower I think of for Valentine's Day is the rose. Um, a lot of you probably don't know this about me. I like roses. Um, when we lived in uh, Frederick, Maryland, we had a townhouse that had a nice postage stamp backyard. It was fenced in. We had, uh, flower beds along the side of the fence. And I think I had somewhere like 10 to 12 different colored rose bushes. I didn't have, you know, big rose bushes that were like hedges. I had small bushes. I kept them pretty, pretty well cut down because again, it's a townhouse backyard but what I loved was having all the different colors and um my favorite was I had a very dark purple because I always wanted a black rose and you know from what I understand there are no black roses but um it was a very dark purple I we had some that were multi multiple color we had the yellows the pinks the red and those but I kind of liked the multiple colors we had some the buds were a different color than when they opened up they were yet another color so, you know, and they, I found they weren't as hard to take care, care of as I thought. I had to, you know, dust them for aphids um, every few days. And then I'd trim them, you know, trim them back and, and prune them. And as you prune them, they become more um, robust or, you know, they bloom a lot. They have a lot more flowers and stuff. So I think of the rose as something that is affiliated with Valentine's Day, affiliated with love. Um, so as I was thinking about a passage... I actually went to 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verses 7 through 10. 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verses 7 through 10. That's the passage I'm going to preach on. And it's something you probably would not expect um, from a Valentine's Day passage. Because um, it doesn't focus on love. But when you think of the rose, you know, as beautiful as the flowers are, there's other things that are part of the rose. You know, the stems, the thorns. And I just want to talk about the, the passage I'm talking about is Paul talking about that thorn that he was given, that affliction that he was given that was meant to keep him humble. And as, th as I thought about the rose, and, you know, the thorn is protection for the flower, but it's also, um, you know, if we think about thorns in our relationship, it is something that keeps us humble. And any relationship that has been that's been long lasting usually each person in the relationship knows the right things to say to keep the other person humble sue has no problem saying a few things that put me back in my place in no time because she knows the things that will keep me humble so as you think about the rose think about the number of thorns there are per flower think about the strength of the stem and those thorns are on the stem they're on the branches they're on, you know, the whole bush um, of the roses, and the flowers are just part of the whole rose bush. And I think any long-lasting relationship is built on the strength of those branches, but also those thorns, those tough times that you got through as a couple, those tough things that you were able to get through in a relationship, those thorns, those thorns that kind of keep us in our place, to help us um, support and encourage each other. So any long-lasting relationship is built on the strength of the branches, the thorns, to produce the beautiful flower of the rose or the beautiful flower of a relationship. So that's where I'm going for Valentine's Day. I will be sharing some more stories and, and telling a little bit more. But again, 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verses 7 through 10, that is our Valentine's Day sermon, and it is titled the rose. So I look forward to seeing everyone there. Um, be safe and take care.